What's up guys, welcome to Palisades Tahoe on the Jones Mind Expander 158. And it's six foot two and about 180 pounds. This board is just enough stability with playfulness and quick, quick edge to edge, which was what I was working on today is not just really relying on that heel side, but really trying to get those toe edge turns in to shave off some speed. These initial runs didn't really show that as well as later on in the day when I kind of got the hang of it a little bit more. I am still kind of just getting used to the board and snowboarding in general as I've mainly just been skiing for the last 18 years without any snowboarding whatsoever. The conditions today were relatively rough, really bouncy, but soft snow as the temperatures were close to 50 degrees. So everything got super soft, but it was still really fast snow. I don't know how they make these bases of these Jones snowboards so quick, but it seems like they are just so effortlessly gliding down the mountain. Super efficient base, real, real quick. Gains lots of speed fast and just keeps on sliding over just about any type of snow and I haven't waxed or done anything to the base since getting it and as it was a demo I'm guessing it's been a long time since anything's really been done. This was about the first day I was able to really ride the double black diamonds and then the runs that say extremely difficult actually very confidently today. I think just the snow conditions also really helped out a lot because if I did crash it wasn't really the end of the world and it was a relatively soft landing but feeling a lot more confident on the board after getting in you know five six times already riding this year. Also maybe just feeling all the benefits of the thousands of squats I've been doing in the gym. As you can see perhaps here is when I really started to work on those quick short turns instead of the big longer turns that you can kind of get on the groomers like right here. But these conditions really just lended well to practicing like quick small turns like you would do skiing instead of the long drawn out ones. And then just getting more confident on that toe side and just getting more stable on the toe side through all the bumps which normally would really throw me off but just leading with that front arm and looking through the turn seem to really help out a lot and just get me through a lot of this crud except for right there
If you enjoy doing sports like skiing or snowboarding or just kind of any of the alternative sports in general, I think getting into the gym and strength conditioning general balance that you can work on with posy balls and Swiss balls is so important just for these types of sports and it just keeps your proprioception like top notch and as we get older we tend to lose our balance and just where our body is in time and space. Really I think that's just about as important as getting out on the mountain and practicing your skills you know whether it's skateboarding, e-skate, snowboarding, skiing, even just trail running or mountain biking in general. And being 42 years old, I definitely do not want to lose my balance or my strength and forcing me to thus act my age. I do find it humorous working at a high school where teenagers are constantly coming up and saying I don't want to live past 40 because that's when I'm going to be old and decrepit and I can't do anything fun anymore. And I just tell them, well I just beat you down the mountain skiing and then snowboarding and I'm 42. So where does that leave you? Not that my goal is to brag at all, but I just want people to have the best life that they can in reality and give maybe a couple tips in order for you to keep going, doing the things that you love well into a ripe age of over 50, 60 years old. It is just a number at these points and our healthcare system and ability with nutrition exercise has come so far that we really have no more excuses. And the channel is called Total Baller, but it's not for me. It's actually because I want you to be a total baller.